Good morning. I am out of the house with sister and it's that time, time to get the hair done. And I'm going to vlog a fair tomorrow, so kind of the last minute toes are next and a little bit more shopping. And yeah. So what's next, Chris? What's my hair? Ombre be... again. We'll see. Everybody liked it, so we'll see. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> This is my new style. I decided this is it. This is it. We're done. This is the vlogger yeah, fair look. That's how she's gonna style her hair every day for vlogger fair. It's cute. Good morning, clan. Welcome to Wednesday, uh, August 19th. It is about noon. I've had a action packed morning thus far. I live streamed Black Ops 3 beta over on Clint's Games, and now I am watching the Bungie release. Uh, reveal of the Taken King Tower. Super excited about this. Lots of good stuff happening here. I'm super pumped right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi because I, I, I realize it's almost noon and I haven't vlogged at all. So uh, what's up? All right. So what do you guys think? It's very curly. Here, show it up. So I like it. It's all fresh and colorful and not faded yet. And yeah. Red. But it, I think, yeah, I think she did put more red in it this time. I'm okay with that. I like the red. Clint likes the red. Still got some blonde at the bottom. And where did I park? Right here. See, can't do two things at once. Trying to walk to my car as people are looking at me as I'm holding a camera in my face and I'm gonna run into the car. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so yeah, we just had some lunch and now. Okay, so I totally just hit the non-record button and stopped recording. <laughs> Anyways, um, going to get our toes on next. I'm excited. Oh, do you want in? Hi! <laughs> it's not 110 degrees out or anything. I just had a vlogging fit. Uh, Did you fail. not record? No, I was opening the door and my door hit the record button. Ah. It stopped recording. Oh, it's hot. It happens. So yeah, toes next. All right, so the bungee reveal was awesome. Uh, again, super excited for all the things that come in, in Destiny, but you don't care about that, so I wanna stop talking about that. Uh, yesterday, while I was out and about uh, kicking Tuesday around, uh, I did end up buying one thing, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of a random purchase. Um, I didn't have any intentions of buying this, but I saw it and I was like, oh, that looks cool. Um, it's one of these, I don't know, yoga ball chairs, I guess? It's called a fit chair, but that's basically what it is, it's yoga ball. It's all these cool little Stanley wheels. But uh, back in my old office, there were a few people that used to sit on these and I was always like, that's kind of a cool idea. And when I would sit on them just randomly, because they weren't in the office that day, uh, I was like, I kind of like this. And the idea is, is that you're sitting on it and you, you, it, you're like kind of working your core muscles because the, the thing like moves and you have to, you have better posture and blah, blah, blah. I'm interesting though with the whole wheels and the stand, the ball doesn't really like row, like does it move? I always thought that whole point of that was because the ball constantly was moving and so you're constantly like keeping your core muscles going. So I don't know, um, but I figured I'd grab it because I sit down so much at the office and as much as I do love my chair, my back does hurt from time to time because I think I have bad posture sitting down all day. So I thought I'd give it a try, it was relatively cheap and so I'm gonna put that together and then I'm finally gonna put together my floor lamp. I've had this thing now probably for two or three months just sitting in my room collecting dust. Um, and so I figured since I was gonna put this together, I might as well put that together and kind of make a little day out of it. All right, so we're opening this bad boy up and here, first thing is the, uh, the little roller thing, bobber thing. Looks like I gotta put the wheels on. Uh, there's the ball that I've gotta inflate. It came with a pump, that's that's cool. I don't, I don't have to have a pump even though I have one. Now I have an extra one. That's good for like, uh, you know, balls. And uh, there's the wheels. Oh sweet, they're just push and play. I just push the wheels in. Very cool. So I'm gonna do that because I'm excited to sit on this ball. Any, mini, mini, move. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Uh, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I, the big yoga balls are big, like they're big, like they're like this tall. So now it makes sense why A, it was cheaper than I was expecting, and B, there's this stand because it's a small ball. 
I mean, look at it. It's, it's, it's a small ball. That's not like a normal yoga ball. Yoga balls are much bigger. But uh, yeah, let's try this out. All right, so it goes in the little holster. I got some wheels that work pretty good on my little mat. They roll around. Hmm. Okay. And uh, definitely comfortable on my butt. Since I don't have a butt, it's actually quite comfortable because I sit on my tailbone a lot and uh, it hurts because I don't have any cushion. I got no cushion back there, guys. Uh, the height is good. The height's a good uh, for my uh, keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse are right here. I got no armrests. That's that's one thing. No armrests. But you know what? I can already see myself like sitting up straight because of the way I'm sitting. Like I'm sitting on a little, you know, that's what I'm sitting on basically. Me sitting up straight. I think I'm gonna like this. I think this is this is a, per a over long overdue purchase that I never thought about. All right, cool. So uh, done with the chair. That was pretty relatively simple. Uh, let's move on to the lamp. So toes are done. I went with, I don't know if I can show you guys. I have a dark purple. Oh, let's see. So with the dark purple this time, I told Chrissy that it's been a while since I've had purple. I think I'm allowed to. So yeah, went with purple. And I lost her. I lost my shopping buddy. We ran out of time, so I have to go couple more places, Kohl's, Target, kind of getting a couple more last minute things before the trip tomorrow. By myself. All right, we're moving on to uh, the lamp. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little hesitant to even open this up because I was like, oh, this is gonna be a million pieces, it's gonna take me forever to put together. But the instructions are on one sheet of paper and there's only six steps and one of those steps is to screw in the light bulb. So really, there's only five steps. So. I'm gonna hope, I'm gonna guess and say it's, it's all just screwing each other piece, all pieces in. So, it shouldn't be too bad. Gotta sit on my new ball! I got my new ball! Bouncy ball! I got a ball that you can't play with, baby. <laughs> so, look at it, look at it, look, it opens up like a, oh crap. It opens up like a, like a sandwich. Like a sandwich. So there's the two, uh, like, bowls. That's the big, big light. There's a small light on the side, like a desk lamp. That's kinda cool. Kinda cool. Oh my god, it's heavy. Ugh. The brass. It's fancy, I got brass. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, it literally just all screws in. It's all the wire, the cord is like inside them all. Rip them. Rip it. Rip it. <laughs> I'm Ripping it into a bunch of pieces instead of ripping it open. Come on. <laughs> Is that supposed to go this way? Okay, one more, one more. Uh, let's see, is there a seam or something? There's gotta be an easier way. There, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So now let's just find the bottom, that's the top. Ooh, 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 don't get tangled. Don't get tangled. There we go. All right, so let's see here. First one is this one. Let's just pull this down. Screw it in. It's not the, you know, the most heavy duty, sturdy lamp in the world, but uh, you know, it'll look all right in the corner of my room. And it'll start to collect a little dust, and it'll, it'll look nice. And it'll be all good. All right. Um, the cord is super long. I, I think I may have missed a step, perhaps. Like, am I supposed to pull? Oh, you know what? I'm probably supposed to pull it. Uh, crap. <laughs> look at the size of this, look at this cord. Like, I'm sure it's supposed to like maybe come out the bottom. Now they're all one. One with each other. And then we'll pull this. Uh, maybe? Maybe. There we go. Uh, I think that was like step one through three right there. Fasten tube A on the base. Fasten tube B to tube A. Fasten C to B. Fasten socket assembly onto C. Put glasses on the sockets and tighten socket rings. Install a bulb. That's it. That's actually fairly simple. So we shall do this one first. This one. Oh wait, I take the ring off. I get this, I got it. Inside the hole. There we go. And there we go. That was not bad at all. I kick myself in the butt for not doing that sooner because that was ridiculously simple. I was dreading it because I was like, I don't want to put that together. It's going to be like a pain in the butt because all that furniture we put together was like a pain in the butt. And so now it's like ingrained in my head like putting furniture together sucks. But that was actually not bad. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any light bulbs. Uh, this thing take, take, takes two light bulbs, and I don't have any. All I have, uh, all I have left, all we have left are the um, like big fancy ones for like the vanity. Um, I need some like compact fluorescents. So I'm thinking about maybe taking the bulb out of the lamp that's in there because it sucks, and just using it for now. But Tiffany's at the store, so I just text her; she'll she'll pick up some light bulbs um, from Target. All right, so kids are home from school. How was school? Good. Good. Did their homework, all done with that, and now the girls are starting to pack our bags for Seattle, and us guys are gonna go get haircuts because it's about that time. We'll find out whether or not this one hundred cleaner will turn to stand. And there's Bryce's new haircut. We didn't take a whole lot off the top because we want to keep it longer so we can do more stuff with it. Like, like right now, it's just kind of like he's got the got the front end. He's got a lot of cowlicks. That's the problem. That's the problem. Got that from your dad, sorry. Kinda hard to tell mine right now, uh, cause I have just like some conditioner in it right now, there's no like products, but again, let the top longer, so like, you can do more with it when it's longer. So what are you guys playing? Plants vs. Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies, nice. I'm also a little big fan. Good game. So what is this thing right here? It's like it's a... Viosk? iPad thing. It's like a tablet, you got tablet. games on it, what else do you do with it? Um, you can also order on it and pay. Order and pay. Pretty convenient. All right, kids, what would we go with? <laughs> that was Ladies awesome. First. Ladies yeah. first. I got mac and cheese and broccoli. Mac and cheese and broccoli. I got pizza, pepperoni pizza, and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mm, mommy? Margarita glazed chicken. Margarita glazed chicken with rice and beans. And I went with the mango habanero tilapia. And of course we had to end with some dessert. This is, uh, what is this, Sierra? It was called a, 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 hold on just a minute. Skillet, or a skillet toffee fudge brownie. Skillet toffee, toffee brownie. fudge brownie. So we got a brownie. We got ice cream, we got caramel, we got toffee chips. No, wait until he says dig in. Go ahead, dig in, go ahead. <gasps> <laughs> mm. It's good. It good. smells good. I'm feeling I'm gonna have a belly ache when we leave here. Because the brownie is hot, but then the ice cream goes on top. And That's the best part about these like skillet desserts. Mm -hmm. I love the skillet desserts for that reason right there. Hot, warm something, with some cold something, something on top. Yeah, like there's either cookies or brownies. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. New light, and the double the light. I got one there now, I got one behind me. I actually have a, <laughs> actually have enough light now to actually see everything in the room. But yeah, got a light bulb. Tiffany bought some light bulbs from the store, so uh, now I got maximum light in here. Cause that lamp, that used to be my desk lamp. You know, it looked really cool, like sitting on my desk and I just needed a light on my desk, it was good enough. Never, the purpose of never was never to light the whole room. <laughs> and so that's what this is and it's, Definitely very, very doable. And uh, looks very nice on my face for vlogging. Did some more Black Ops 3 beta um, with Bryce. I gave him one of my friend codes so he could play with me. And uh, oh, lots of fun, lots and lots of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, progressing through the beta. Um, though it doesn't go all the way through. It, um, it stops at a certain level. Um, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing it. It's definitely bringing it back to my Call of Duty days. Plus having a full party of friends playing it with, with them uh makes it, it just brings you back to my old days man it's so fun like back in college those kind of days anyways that's gonna do it for us tonight i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up tap that on the sky for the last three years videos uh tomorrow we head to seattle you guys we are going to vlogger fair uh starts on friday goes through sunday and then we're gonna spend a couple days just kind of visit uh, touring to touristy stuff take the kids uh, to Pike Place Market, let them see the gum wall, uh, maybe take them up to the Space Needle. Because me and Tiffany have been to Seattle a couple times now, and we've never done the Space Needle. So uh, we'll probably do that with the kids. And uh, a couple other fun things. So stay tuned. The next four or five videos are going to be awesome. You're going to see a lot of your favorite vloggers, uh, family vloggers such as the Daily Bumps, Colin and Katie, Jared and Ellie, uh, Sam and Nia, um, Sam and Jenica. Um, who else is going to be there? Uh, obviously, Chris and Diana Perillo. They're, they're, they're the ones who put on Blogger Fair. Um, my buddy Brent and Michelle um, and their daughter, the cute little daughter. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. And so lots of, lots of good stuff, guys. I'm just super, super excited. I'll be on stage uh, a few times hosting uh, a couple different panels and Q&As. 
And so when those are happening, I'll try and uh, tweet them out and uh, do some maybe some periscopes. So be sure you're following me on Periscope because that's where I'll be doing my live streams. And um, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Vlog on.